good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks please install gk today academy app now let's start what is the rank of india in the recently released international intellectual property index 2020 so recently us chamber of commerce gipc that is global innovation policy center released this International Intellectual Property Index and as per this index, India's ranking is 40. Last year, India's ranking was 36 and this year, total 53 economies were included in the list and out of 53, India is on 40th position. The top performers are US, UK, Sweden. Union Cabinet of India approved Alliance Air to start flight operations between India and which country by waiving 20 aircraft rule. So recently, Union Cabinet approved Alliance Airline to start flight operations between India and Sri Lanka by waiving a 520 rule. Now, what is the meaning of this 520 rule? It means that before starting an international flight operations, the company should have an experience of 5 years and should have a fleet of at least 20 aircrafts. However, in case of Alliance, this 20 aircraft rule was waived. So right answer is Sri Lanka. And this Alliance Air is a 100% subsidiary of Air India. And Alliance Air have 5 years of experience but it does not have 20 aircrafts. Now if we talk about Sri Lanka, recently presidential elections held in Sri Lanka and Mr. Gotabaya Rajpaksha became the president of the country. Sri Lanka was also in news as recently W. BTI that is World Breastfeeding Trends Initiative conducted a survey and as per that survey Sri Lanka is on top position in terms of breastfeeding rate. Sri Lanka was also in news because of its decision to purchase 500 buses from India for 15 million US dollars. Apart from that recently Mr. Gopal Bagle was appointed India's High Commissioner to Sri Lanka. The previous High Commissioner was Mr. Taranjit Singh Sandhu and now he has been appointed as India's Ambassador to USA. Britain's Prince Charles has launched a new Children's Protection Fund for which Asian country? So it was launched for India and this is a part of British Asian Trust and this trust was founded by Prince Charles in 2007 and the objective of this trust was to fight poverty in South Asia. Now this specific fund was started to prevent the exploitation of children such as child sexual abuse, child labor and trafficking. And recently noted American singer Katy Perry was appointed as the ambassador of this fund and this fund is a part of this British Asian Trust. Which country recently launched the International Religious Freedom Alliance for protecting religious freedom across the world. So this alliance was started by USA. Now USA was also in news as recently Mr. Taranjit Singh Sandhu was appointed as Indian ambassador to US. Previous Indian ambassador was Mr. Harsh Vardhan Sringla. Now Mr. Sringla has been appointed as foreign secretary. Previous foreign secretary was Mr. VK Gokhale. USA was also in news because of its decision to establish Space Force. Which social media platform recently announced that it will label the fake news and remove harmful data shared on its platform. So this decision was taken by Twitter and Twitter is a US based company and Twitter announced that it would label the fake media shared on its platform so that users can identify that this content has been manipulated. So the idea is to identify fake news. Now recently another company that is Google decided to provide 1 million grant for news literacy in India and to prevent fake news. And this grant is to be provided to a news literacy organization, Internews. And this fund was launched by GNI, that is Google News Initiative. India's 13th major port is set to be established in which state as per the recent approval of cabinet. So it will be in Maharashtra in Vadhwa. And this is going to be the 13th major port and government of India is expected to hold 51% of the stakes in this project. Now recently one more port was in use. It was 
Kolkata port. It completed 150 years and on this occasion, the Prime Minister of India renamed it as Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee port. Now one more thing, for the first time, Kolkata Port Trust Tableau took part in the Republic Day ceremony. And this was the first time in the history of our country that any port presented its tableau. So this was presented on the 26th January on the occasion of Republic Day. And the chief guest for this year's Republic Day was President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. And the tableau of Assam won the award of Best Tableau. Which Indian city was recently certified formally as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO? So this city is Jaipur, the pink city of India. Now if we talk about UNESCO, the headquarters of UNESCO is in France in Paris and India's first UNESCO heritage city was Ahmedabad. Now France was also in news as it is going to be the host of 2024 Summer Olympic Games while Japan is the host of 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Apart from that, France was also in news as it was the host of last G7 summit this year. That means in 2020, USA is going to be the host of G7 summit. Answer in comment box, which country is going to be the host of G20 summit this year? The Union Cabinet recently approved to confer the status of institution of national importance to how many IIIT, that is Indian Institutes of information technology. So this INI status was approved for five new IIITs and these five are in Surat, Bhopal, Bhagalpur, Agartala and Raicha. Now Bhopal was also in news as recently India's first e-waste clinic was set up in Bhopal and this is a collaboration between BMC that is Bhopal Municipal Corporation and CPCB that is Central Pollution Control Board. It is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Israel's Albaid Systems recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding with which Indian company for developing an unmanned aerial vehicle that is UAV. So HAL and Albaid System signed this MOU for UAV. Now this MOU was signed at Defence Expo and this Defence Expo held in Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. Now recently Uttar Pradesh was also in news as India's first transgender university will be in Uttar Pradesh in Kushinagar. Apart from that, India's first war memorial for animals will be in Uttar Pradesh in Meerut. India's first elephant hospital is also in Uttar Pradesh, while first camel hospital of world is in Dubai in UAE. Which Indian celebrity is at top spot in the latest brand valuation study by Def and Phillips. So Mr. Virat Kohli is on top as per this study while on second position is Mr. Akshay Kumar and Ms. Deepika Padukone along with Mr. Ranveer Singh is on third position. What is the repo rate after the sixth bi-monthly monetary policy committee meeting of RBI in February 2020? So the RBI recently conducted its sixth bi-monthly monetary policy committee meeting and as per that the repo rate is 5.15 percent so this MPC that is monetary policy committee decided the rates as follows repo rate is 5.15 percent reverse repo is 4.90 percent while MSF that is marginal standing facility and bank rate are 5.40 percent now this repo and reverse repo are the part of LAF that is liquidity adjustment facility. Now if we talk about monetary policy committee, it is a six member committee out of which three are appointed by the government and three are from RBI and and the chairperson of this committee is RBI governor. Present RBI governor is Shakti Khan Das and recently he was given banker of the year award for Asia Pacific region. Now coming back to MPC, so the minimum quora for this meeting of MPC is 4 that means for any meeting there should be at least 4 members present and the mandate of MPC is to maintain inflation between 4 plus minus 2 percent that is from the range of 2 percent to 6 percent of inflation and MPC meets at least 4 times in a year and the decisions are taken by voting by majority and in case of any tie the RBI governor votes. 
Now you can pause it and take a screenshot. Now central bank that is RBI also announced few more things. RBI announced that it has no plans to monetize the fiscal deficit of government. Now what is the meaning of this thing? It means RBI is not going to print fresh currency notes to balance the deficit. Apart from that, it was also announced that SRO that is Self Regulatory Organization for Digital Payments will be set up and it will be set up by April 2020. What is the new deadline to restructure the accounts of MSME as per the recent announcement of RBI? So the new deadline is 31st of March 2021. The previous deadline was 31st of March 2020. Jabong, which was shut down recently, was owned by which company? So Jabong was owned by Flipkart and recently it was in news because it was shut down. And the users of Jabong are now redirected towards Mintra. So Jabong is owned by Flipkart and Flipkart acquired Mintra in 2014. And Flipkart is acquired by Walmart. So actually the structure is like this Walmart and then Flipkart and then Jabong and Mintra. Rakhi Haldar, who was seen in news recently, is associated to with sports. So C is associated to weightlifting and C is from West Bengal. C recently won a gold medal in the 64 kg category. Who was recently awarded the International Gandhi Award for Leprosy by the Indian President? So recently Dr. N. S. Dharam Shaktu was awarded International Gandhi Award for Leprosy in individual category while in institution category it was given to Leprosy Mission Trust. It should be noted that leprosy is also known as Hansen's disease and the theme of this year's World Leprosy Day was Leprosy isn't what you think. Answer in comment box on which date World Leprosy Day is observed. Christina Koch who was in news recently is associated to which field? So she is an astronaut of NASA and recently she created a world record by spending 328 days in ISS that is International Space Station and she is an astronaut of NASA. NASA is a space agency of USA. Full form of NASA is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Which state is set to host the Hornbill Festival this month which was originally celebrated in Nagaland. So the state is Tripura and it will hold the Hornbill festival for the first time. Actually it is a state festival of Nagaland and Tripura is hosting this festival with an aim to conserve the Hornbill bird. In fact Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur also organized this Hornbill festival in their states to conserve this Hornbill bird and it is a state festival of Nagaland. Kirk Douglas who recently passed away is associated to which field? So Mr. Douglas was associated to cinema and he was well known Hollywood actor. He passed away recently. As per the periodic labor force survey, what was the unemployment rate in our country in 2017-18? So recently, Minister of State for Labor, Mr. Santos Gangwar announced that government is conducted a new periodic labor force survey. And as per the results of this periodic labor force survey, the unemployment rate in our country was 6.1% in 2017-18 and the labor force participation in our country at that point of time was 36.9%. Mr. Gangwar also announced that this new survey is conducted through the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. As per the recent report of Media Agency Group M, what is the position of India in the list of global advertising markets in 2020? So India is on 8th position and this is 2 position higher than the previous year's ranking. USA is on 1st position and USA is followed by China and Japan. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Thank you and that's all for the day.